Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the 6 watt power supply design by using LTSPICE. Okay, so we will understand how will you design the 6 watt power supply with the output voltage of 12 volts at the rate 500 milliamps current. Okay, in LTSPICE, how will you run the simulation in LTSPICE and how will you see the different waveform like what is the gate voltage what is the drain to source voltage how the output voltage and current looks like and what is the effect of this snubber circuit you can see here the rcd snubber circuit i have included here right right so in the last video we have understood the 5 watt power supply design that means 5 volt at the rate of 1 amps so if you haven't watched that video please go and watch that video so let us understand how will you design the 6 watt power supply that means 5 12 volt at the rate of 500 milliamps okay and you see the input is 230 volt and 50 hertz okay so as you see here this is the source voltage sinusoidal voltage and this is 230 volt peak value with the 50 hertz cycle then we have four diode for rectifier then we have the bulk capacitor c1 right right it's a 32 microfarad then you see i have added r c and d snubber uh, at the moment i have disconnected from the circuit later i'll show the impact of this snubber circuit now you see this is the primary winding right this is the primary winding here this is le leakage inductance and this is the mosfet again and the mosfet is driven by a pulse source okay pulse source with in series with 100 10 ohm resistance right so i have defined here you can see the primary inductance is 810 micro handy secondary 100 micro handy and the leakage inductance l2 is 10 micro handy now so if you know the frequency of this this pulse source that is 100 kilohertz that means you are driving your flyback topology with the 100 kilohertz and if you go and see here the one time is 1.3 microsecond and total time period is 10 microsecond that means your frequency is 100 kilohertz but you are driving this flyback topology flyback converter with the fixed duty cycle you see here the duty cycle is 13 percent and it is fixed it is how much it is fixed okay so duty cycle is 13 percent and the frequency is 100 kilohertz now you see at the secondary this again secondary uh, inductance and the d5 diode and you see the output capacitor and the load so 12 volt divided by 24 ohms that will give you 500 milliamps current and this is very important guys to add the coupling factor k l1 primary between primary inductance and the secondary inductance l1 and l3 with 0 0.995 for the practical transformer so so guys here i am using two coupled inductor okay and two inductor i am using the coupling method here to make a transformer okay now i'll i'll directly run the simulation and i'll show you the different voltages here right so let's directly go show you the voltage so let me show you the first voltage at this gate to source how this looks like right so this is important let me add one more plot pane here mm, i'm not sure okay so this is your gate to source voltage now i'll show you the drain voltage right okay so here you see your drain voltage how drain voltage is rising okay so the first waveform what i'm showing here you is this is gate to source voltage and how the gate source voltage look like then again i am showing you the drain to source of this mosfet the voltage at drain to source right so let me show you the voltage at drain to source you can see here this is the right gate to source voltage and this is the drain to source voltage right let me let me further zoom it so that you can see here right let me do for you guys this is only for you okay now you see guys this is the this is the 15 volt i have given to drive the the gate of this this uh, mosfet and now you see your drain to source voltage right and you see your drain to source voltage is you see the peak value here is around 470 470 volt okay now 
uh, when your gate is on you see the current flowing through this primary inductance and it it charges itself and when your gate signal is off you can see your mosfet is a high voltage here and it is around which is around 470 volt okay let me zoom for one so you can see for this is on period you can, you can see this is the gate on pulse and you can see here some voltages here it's around 8.65 volt volt that means current flowing through your the primary winding of the transformer this is off period and you see high voltage spike at drain to source okay so this point is your drain to source right this is your vds let me do it for you this is your vds let me do okay this is your vgs so let me do here vgs vgs and this is vo right this is the output voltage vo let me connect it here okay now let me show you the output voltage and output current okay so you see here the the output voltage right let me show you the output voltage let me delete this again and again then the simulation divide into two plot pen and this shows you output voltage and this will show you the output current right this is show you the output current so let me add one probably one more plot pen here guys right so let me add one more plot pen and let me show the power here right so now you see this v output current flowing through the load and the power here right so you can see now your output is stabilized almost so you can see here this is 12.25 and at the same time you want to see the current you can see 500 5 not 3 milliamps and you can see the power here is around 6.2 okay so that means you are seeing clearly seeing that your your output voltage is 12.2 volt output current is 5 not 3 and output power is 6.2 watt right you can clearly see guys now what i'm gonna do is i'll i'll add this snubber circuit and i'll what i'll do i'll show you the behavior of now you see this output power is six right six point two watt this is 500 milliampere this is 12 point now what i'm gonna show you this so i'm gonna delete this again i'll run the simulation and i will show you the drain to source voltage again so now this time you see you have connected the snubber circuit let me let me show you earlier your drain to source voltage at off time of the duty cycle was 472 now let me show if once it gets stabilized how your voltage has been reduced now you see you have almost stabilized voltage now see you see your ringing has come down you see guys if you want to see here you can see your ringing came down here at the moment now you have the maximum voltage 285 earlier it was 472 now you can see the impact of your snubber circuit okay so thanks for guys thanks guys for watching this video if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video